ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. A triumphant Donald Trump met by a standing ovation from his supporters gathered in the White House, all to hear, well... And this is really not a news conference. It's not a speech. It's not anything. It's just we're sort of... Uh, it's a celebration because we have something that just worked out. I mean, it worked out. We went through hell. But this is what the end result is. The U.S. president celebrating his acquittal on impeachment charges, the verdict coming Wednesday in the Republican-controlled Senate about a month and a half after Trump was impeached by the Democrat-led House of Representatives on charges of abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. All over efforts to get Ukraine to announce investigations that would benefit Trump politically. On Thursday, Trump slamming the months-long process and other challenges he's faced. We were treated unbelievably unfairly. And you have to understand, uh, we first went through Russia, Russia, Russia. It was all bullshit. Ahead of Trump's roughly hour-long talk that was punctuated by generous praise for his allies and scathing attacks on his opponents. Adam Schiff is a vicious, horrible person. Nancy Pelosi is a horrible person. Nancy Pelosi defending her actions during Trump's State of the Union address this week when she ripped a copy of his speech, a document she calls a manifesto of mistruths. He has shredded the truth in his speech. He's shredding the Constitution in his conduct. I shredded his state of his mind address. Thank you all very much. Where do things go from here? Well, one thing we know for certain, the U.S. presidential election is happening in November. And the next test for Democrats who want to take on Trump, it's happening Tuesday in New Hampshire. And the day before that, Trump, he's hosting a rally in that state. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.